Hey there, what's going on? Welcome to this lesson. Dave here from Beginning Guitar Tower Online. Today we're going to cover some pros and cons of using the internet and some apps uh, to learn guitar. Now, there's a plethora and an overabundance of apps and websites that can give you some content, right? Ours, ours included. Um, these tools can be awesome. Uh, they have some advantages, they have some disadvantages. And, um, you know, all of it plays back into what are your practice goals for yourself this, this year, or, you know, find yourself reevaluating what you thought you wanted to, to practice, you know, at the beginning of the year to then maybe now what you're finding yourself play, um, as your inspiration changes throughout the year. So just wanted a quick shout out that the content of this originally appeared in our, uh, woodshed newsletter. If you're unfamiliar with it, it is a um, every other Monday newsletter that comes out and we go through and find some of the best online lessons throughout the web and send them directly to you so that you don't have to hunt and peck and spend all that time trying to find the lessons that will work uh, for your practicing. So go to our website and subscribe to the Woodshed newsletter and get this content uh, earlier than you would have waiting on the channel. So. All right, so starting with some pros of going online. The main thing to shout out is convenience. You know, having the internet, having it on uh, on your phone, um, you just have such an abundance of content that's available, especially with like, if you're into really specific guitar players, uh, being able to learn directly from them is such a benefit of trying to learn guitar today. Um, and that goes for, any level of guitar player. Um, you can learn at your own pace, you learn on your own schedule, you know, you have a quick 15 minutes, you can, you know, pull it out and start practicing. Um, you know, especially if you, you know, if you travel for work or, uh, you know, you work from home, I hear just being able to take some time wherever you are and learn is a fantastic thing. Um, you know, the convenience can also not be uh, overstated for, you know, some of the more rural students we might have, right? Um, if you don't have a guitar shop near you, or you don't have easy access to guitar lessons in your community, um, these, you know, these apps and the websites are a fantastic alternative uh, to be able to get what you are looking for, and to get some progress under your belt, right? Especially for beginners, um, just getting some progress there and, and seeing yourself improve is really important early days. All right, so number two is related to that. So tracking your progress, right? A lot of these apps that you would use like uh, Fender Play or Gibson's app, uh, they will show you how you're progressing through their curriculum. And this can be a great motivator for uh, you to continue to go through, uh, as well as getting some tests to see, are you, you know, hitting things on time? Are you, um, you know, are you bending the, the pitch all the way up so that it's in tune, right? Um, all those things are, are, are fantastic benefits to that. You know, some of these other apps that gamify uh, guitar playing, you know, so it's a little bit like, you know, the Rockstar video game, but applied to the real instrument. Uh, if you're familiar with that, that can be a huge help depending on your, your learning style. So being able to see yourself move through the curriculum and, and be able to look back and say, you know what, I have done a lot uh, can be a huge benefit. Um, so the third pro really is is with this too. I, you know, like easily accessible lessons, um, like tracking progress, you know, cost for this, uh, for a lot of the apps or, or websites is a huge benefit of working online, right? Uh, it's also a problem of you get what you pay for as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in, in sort of the cons section, but you know, the, the amount of information and technique guides and all the things that you can get for free these days is pretty awesome. Uh, even if it's like a $5 ebook, you know, you can get some really good information, um, for pretty cheap, which is uh, a nice thing. So, um, the fourth pro is definitely the variety that you can go. You know, if you find yourself into a really niche genre 
of music, there's probably some lessons around that either from the artists themselves um, or the you know collection of artists within that field, um, as well as even just the library of uh, old school guitar lesson videos that you can find online, right? Like finding some old jazz guys that you know might have done some one-off lessons in the 70s or, or you know 50s even um during an interview or something did there's such a wealth there that you can go through um that's definitely a um uh, it's definitely a positive for all these things um all of that variety as well fits the different learning styles right and depending on how you prefer to learn uh, it's going to work you know perfectly for you but it might not work uh, as well for somebody else so being able to find the lessons that that fit the way that you think and support the goals that you have for your playing uh, is all a benefit so now getting to some of the cons the cons of course you know it's easier to focus on the negative especially when you're trying something new but um you know a lot of these it's I mean, it's like working out. I know I'm, I'm I use that analogy a lot, but um, one of the biggest cons of using a website or an app to learn is that lack of personal attention that you would get from a one on one teacher. I know one of the reasons that for even starting beginning guitar online for me was as a teacher seeing all of these students come in who started online, but had some really bad habits right off the gate because they didn't have that personalized attention to correct or, or, or troubleshoot. So um, that is definitely um, a problem. And it's a lot harder to find other artists or other approaches that you might really like based on the, the artists you're into uh, that a, a teacher or somebody who's well-versed in a particular style could say, you know what, you might like so-and-so or so-and-so you should go check them out because uh what you're doing is really close to that and then you get that wealth and knowledge and that that expansion right it's harder to do that when you're hunting and pecking online um you know similarly number two is related to that lack of personal attention you have a hard time troubleshooting either a bad habit or uh you know if you get stuck on a particular thing you know like right hand left hand synchronization when you're first starting out um you know, picking depth that might be getting in your way when you're starting out. All of those like little nuanced things that would take forever to try to figure out on your own can easily be pointed out by a, a teacher that, you know, has experience with all of these things. Um, and again, especially if you find an instructor that is well versed in the particular style that you want to you want to learn. Um, that that can do wonders for your playing because they'll be able to point you in directions or you know help focus in the the practicing right because that's one of the problems with the the wealth of knowledge is it's too easy to get distracted or or think you have to do too much when really you just need to focus in on you know a couple of techniques if you want to do um a style like you know two specific players or something like that right um one of the other problems and this is huge when it comes to apps and, and i'm definitely guilty of this you know, you you get distracted with the the environment right you know we talk about set, set up this really nice distraction free environment for your practicing and that's absolutely true but if you're on your phone and you don't um silence notifications then all of a sudden you get these text messages you know you get the calendar invites and you're like whoa okay i'm, I'm trying to practice uh, it becomes a lot harder um there's yeah forgetting to set the do not disturb um the other thing with the distraction piece is is just that what that wealth of knowledge right instead of that focused um that focused practicing you know being able to say i you know if i want to reach this level i need to do like a couple scales and a couple chord progressions and and be happy with it um you know you find that one really interesting lesson and all of a sudden you're in this like shiny object syndrome that you know can be a hard time when you're trying to learn something and, and that might hamper your progress um at least in the short term long term you'll have this you know total wealth of knowledge but you know making sure that you don't get in your own way for progressing is important and related to the first two cons that we we've discussed here a little bit is accountability right having that that instructor or the friend that you can check into to you know 
you have a bad week and you don't feel like playing or you stop playing because you and your family go on vacation um all these things i've seen as a as a teacher um doing in-person lessons you know summer vacation comes or spring break with school or uh homecoming all of a sudden knocks out two three weeks <laughs> worth of practicing um you don't have that accountability you know having to show up in person to your teacher to say yeah i didn't really practice it doesn't feel very good you know but you don't feel the same way when you're you know launching an app um so that that's big right it can be a strong motivator um so yeah i think so you know overall having in-person lessons is a fantastic thing learning online is a fantastic thing um you know we're not pro or against one or over the other you know we just love guitar so whatever helps you uh, learn guitar and play guitar and enjoy your time doing that that's what we're for so um you know go find some stuff again things like jam play uh fender play um true fire gibson all these things are fantastic spots to learn uh, all the different magazines so go go check those out find what works for you and stick to it so that you can you know keep those goals and learn that song you want or learn that chord progression you're interested in uh or or play that show that you're you want to you want to do so uh keep going consider these things let us know what you think like subscribe share all that all that stuff help the channel out help other people find this out and again go subscribe to the woodshed newsletter where you'll get this content before anybody else and uh as well as a bunch of links to uh, lessons that are related so take care and happy practicing